What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place, my friends, to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified every time I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and let's jump on into this, everybody. All right, if you're ready, leave a comment right now saying ready in the chat of the comments. Here we go. So we are doing more comment feedback here uh, from you guys about that video that I did about the new DoorDash requirement for hot bags for the pizza and catering delivery orders, okay? Uh, and where it is now a requirement to take a picture of the bag you are using because of dashers refusing to use bags, okay? And this is just the beginning here. And I, like I said, I wanna showcase what you guys were saying about it. So from Shell Keel, I think I'm saying that correctly, she said, I've done almost 8,000 deliveries and I have used a hot bag every single time. Bring it into the restaurant as well because for some reason people have such a hard time bringing the bag into the restaurants. I don't know why. It's unbelievable to me that I rarely see a driver with a hot bag. Me too. I've had comments from restaurant staff like, uh, wow, fancy bag, or that's awesome that you have a bag to keep the food nice and hot. Come on, people, get with the program here. Could not agree more, okay? I've got my delivery bag right back here that I use on every delivery. I got this bag myself, guys. I had to purchase it myself at Restaurant Depot because the original bag that Grubhub gave me ripped. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna invest in myself, you know? You know how Pedro always says, um, <laughs> bet on yourself? You have to bet on yourself, which means investing in yourself. Eric Massey says, I love seeing everyone say, I always use my heat or hot bag. Obviously never picked, uh, used a large, obviously never picked, used a large McDonald's order with three or more bags. DoorDash sends one hot bag that can hold one McDonald's bag. Also, DoorDash does not give pizza bags, but Grubhub does. In order to fulfill contract requirements, the, gum, the company contracting are required to provide said required bags. Um, therefore, making the obligation void and null to an extent. I use the, uh, the hot bag whenever I can, but it's impossible to do every order, every time, every delivery, every bag. Also, uh, I have seen very large pizza orders. My biggest was 12 large pizzas. I got one pizza bag. I paid for myself and it fits four large. What does a driver do with the other eight pizzas? Uh, P.S. My local Taco Bell requires seeing a hot bag before they give the order. Now, in Eric's situation, it's a valid point, but you can always reach out to DoorDash and say, listen, I need more hot bags. What do I do? Do I have to purchase them myself? I know that they have the DoorDash store, but it's just, you know, you, you need to be proactive is really what it is. If you run into a situation where you don't have enough equipment, you have to get it. That's just what it comes down to. Like he said, there's, that his local Taco Bell requires seeing a hot bag. So what do you do then? Colleen Shonesi says, I use my hot bag every time, but I've stopped bringing them into the store. I got tired of fumbling with putting the food in the bag when there's no surface for me to set the bag on to try and open it up and have a phone in my hand. Never mind when there is more than one bag. It's faster all around for me just to take it in and go and mess with putting it in my bag as soon as I get to my car. Also, if there is more than one bag, it isn't going to go into my regular size hot bag. It's going to go into the large bag that doesn't leave my car and has plenty of space for everything. DoorDash never provided me with a pizza bag. If they require it, they need to be providing it. Yes and no, Colleen. And seriously, you need to start getting in the habit of bringing it into the restaurant because like I read from Eric, he said that the Taco Bell won't even give you the order if you don't have a hot bag. Um, Michelle Travis says, I used my stimulus money to enhance my business and buy the whole set from Grubhub. Plus they sent me another uh, set, another uh, set at a hundred deliveries. Just made sense. I agree, Michelle. 
Uh, Holly Johnson says, that kind of sounded like the Dasher has been approved for drive and catering orders. I believe DoorDash requires proof of hot bag in order to get those types of orders. I haven't seen them ask for proof in any other case. Regardless, I do use my hot bag. So definitely keep doing it, Holly. Uh, Davey says, I agree uh, 100%. I use my hot bags every time. However, I have a larger heat bag that I bought from, from Gordon Food Service. It was $5 and it's big enough to carry 99% of the orders. That's fantastic, Davey. So I'm going to just ask everybody again in the chat or the comments, do you actually use the hot bag? Yes or no? Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you have any suggestions for DoorDash that maybe they can make this a easier partnership between Dasher and them with the whole bag situation. They need the, in my opinion, they do need to start uh, issuing more bags out to drivers. You know, Grubhub is very good about doing so. And remember guys, <laughs> if you ever want to send me anything, uh, an email or for a story or whatever, send me an email at pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or you guys uh, can send me a message through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. I have a link in the description or the pin top comment if you guys want to sign up on there. And anyone who does sign up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So with that being said, everybody, uh, as soon as I say your name, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name in the chat or the comments. So we've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum at $100 uh, ultimate driver per month. Thank you, Ari, for your generosity. And of course, the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, Matt Epperson, John Bonacci, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you. So if you want to sign up, links in the description of the pin top comment. And also everybody, please make sure you are all signed up on the free gas app called Get Upside. That's right. Link is at the bottom of the description. Please make sure to download it today. It is free. Uh, basically, you go to your gas pump, uh, pump your gas, print out your receipt, Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you want one of these awesome I Deliver t-shirts, you can get one of your own at paytodrivestore.com. Link is in the description of the pin top comment, of course. Uh, everything is on sale every day. We have lots of different designs, colors sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 546. E-N-D 546 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. Hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. That's right. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.